going to hot spring. I want to get some cold spring. <laughs> so, okay, see you soon. Hi, Hi guys. guys, this, this is Travel North Taiwan. Taiwan. I'm Lena. I'm Patrick. And today we're going to show you our favorite hot spring. Yeah, and it's located in Shoran Tribes in Shinzu. It's only like two hours drive from Taipei. And plus it has beautiful mountains around, river, and hot springs. Exactly. This is just so awesome and beautiful and perfect. Alright, stop talking about it. Just go! Just look at it by yourself. Come on. <laughs> Okay, now is the baking time that the hike to the hot spring is gonna be around like one hour. Okay, let me show you why we usually take go with us. The backpack we're gonna take with us for the hike is from background, which is super good for all the outdoor hiking activities. It has so many different pockets where you can fit all the necessaries for your hike. Look, smaller, bigger. And what is more cool that this backpack is uh, water resistant so if you're going hiking sometimes you know the weather changes it might be raining or you accidentally sleep and fall in the river this pack backpack will keep your necessary stuff uh, dry and safe uh, I remember last time we went here I think it was a year ago and we were crossing the river and accidentally two people slipped so we killed two phones during that hike. Now I'm going to put it somewhere deep in my backpack. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, let's go. Where's my backpack? Here you go. <laughs> oh yeah. Swimming, hiking, hot spring is ahead. Okay guys, so when you get to Shulun Tribe, one of the things which you can see is very obvious. The bridge here. Okay, so you need to cross the bridge to get to the hot spring. I love Taiwan! Ah! Yeah, so cool, right? Okay, after crossing the bridge, needs to go all the way there. Just follow the pavement. Before there was a free camping site, anybody could come, but I don't know, recently the fence appeared and I guess someone just bought the land. So guys, when you come here, please be quiet because there is someone's house and not disturb people sleeping. Do you see the house number 63? Okay, that's where you need to turn. And we are already in the forest. <laughs> so I remember the first time we come here, it was like two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago when we were just like starting doing all the hikes. We were completely beginners, we didn't know much. <laughs> we didn't prepare food. Not even water or snacks with us. <laughs> we had only like 0.5 liters of water, <laughs> like two bottles uh, for two days. We Food. thought there was a sample in the tribes. <laughs> yeah, so we're like, okay, that's the part we should never worry about. Yeah. But it turns out there was nothing. Hey, Pachi. Yeah? You got like perfect these guys. Look at this military green. Nice, try, try the. I know, right? Cool. Look, I'm gonna be. Oh, not this one. <laughs> it's okay, no need to impress anyone. In Shinzu, that's where the Taiwanese bear is. So, like, whenever we go hiking, we're like, Lena, do you hear the sound? Yeah, you and hear? there was like cat or squirrel or, or you know, some other animals. We heard the big sound like, Bwah! and we thought that was a bear coming out, and we <laughs> ran all the way back. And it was kind of dark, so we could not see what was happening. Someone was cutting those bamboos. I think because they cut it, so it was under the sun for a long time. So look, it's so soft. Oops, you can break it easily. What about we do some uh, stinky rice? <laughs> <laughs> Our bridge no style. Uh, you can actually also chop it and you can have like a shot glass. Out of curiosity. Okay, we want to make a cup out of it. Okay. Oh, it's so soft. I can just literally push my finger. I just made a hole. Okay, so I really want to know how it's gonna taste. Let me put some water inside. Dun, dun, dun. Do you want to try it first or I go first? Yeah, you go first. I'm filming. <laughs> Come on, okay. 
<laughs> betrayer, okay, betrayer. <laughs> How does it taste? It tastes pretty good, like very refreshing with sweet flavor. I think it's not bad. So guys, after walking all the way straight, you'll see this plate with the sign at Taigan Hot Springs. So you just follow it and go all the way down to the river. Look at this amazing place, guys. And it's just the entrance. But you know, once you're coming back, be careful, remember this rock with the sign because uh, sometimes you just forget where to go back. I love walking here because look, I mean rocks are really cool, very special, they go like very vertically. La la, look at all those clothes! Feeling lucky, right? Yeah, it's so impressive. Look at the color of the water. Tiffany Blue, guys. <laughs> Welcome, Tiffany Blue. Oh, Woo -hoo! Fish. Look, the fish is jumping up. There's a fish in the water. Look, look, look. Now, why it's our favorite hot spring? Look, because the hike is so enjoyable and it's so beautiful and it's very chill. Because look, okay, listen on hot spring. It's very amazing, but the hiking is hard. Still in hot spring, very beautiful, outstanding. It's hard to get there, but look at Saigon. Isn't it awesome to walk here? And you know, guys, if you're planning to come here to, uh, to camp, and you know sometimes you want to make uh, the bonfire and enjoy the atmosphere but you need to collect all the wood so what is cool about this backpack you can actually use it for that because it's a military material so it's scratch proof it's like very strong so you can just put all the branches and then just wash the backpack i remember when we were coming here in winter i was always kind of worrying about this part because in winter the river is very flooded so it goes up to here and before there was no rope so it was like Kinda of hard to cross. To prepare better grip, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! So the hot spring is over there, very close. Oh! Yeah, we just need to cross the river and maybe walk less than 100 meters and it's the spot. One time the river was so flooded we had to carry our backpacks on our head. Yeah, now it's like totally fine. <laughs> So before going to hot spring, I want to get some cold spring. <laughs> so, okay, see you soon. How was the water? Oh. You know how it was, it's not perfect! <laughs> wow, that was like super refreshing, but the water is still a little bit cold because it's uh, in the mountains. So I think now it's perfect for the hot spring. It's the first time I see that all these pools are so well organized. <laughs> but this is perfect for summer, it's not too hot. Oh yeah, it's warm, it's perfect. This is like one window. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pools, I think even more. Isn't it perfect? And there are different temperatures too. Oh, that's just amazing. I think it doesn't matter in which time of... If you want to be the next Bao Hong creator, 请打开下方资讯栏链接，一起来投稿吧。the year you come here, even though in summer, if it's like very hot outside, you can still enjoy those pools. And there is just a cold river nearby where you can always jump in when it's too hot. <laughs> so welcome to another hot spring. It's a little bit hotter. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, it's good. I think it would be perfect if it's in the winter. But even now, even though it's summer, it's still cool. Oh, so good. Time for cold water. <laughs> jump in. <laughs> that was wonderful, Taigan. Yeah, 
the most accessible, beautiful hot spring that you can find in Jinju and maybe in the whole Taiwan. You can come here with kids. Just now we saw a lot of kids playing in the water. In case if you are coming here, you need to wear shoes. Exactly. Otherwise, you're gonna starve yourself here in the mountain. <laughs> yeah, just be careful. Remember that. Don't repeat our mistakes. I hope, guys, you like the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. Yes, yeah, subscribe to our channel, Trevor and All Star One. <laughs> See you somewhere in Taiwan. Bye bye. Peace. <laughs>